The most important thing to me is my education. I'll be the first one in my family to graduate college, and I'm grateful to have found a field that I'm passionate about. My parents immigrated here in 1999 from Mexico and have both labored for many years and sacrificed a lot for me and my siblings to have opportunities they were never afforded. I think I've worked so hard to excel in school to honor the opportunities their hard work has made possible. I always knew I wanted to go to college and ultimately I got accepted to all these great schools like Boston College, NYU. Of course, I chose the University of Minnesota. I'm proud of the way I've been able to self-motivate and seek opportunities every year doing something to make myself more competitive. During my first semester, I thought I'd become a dental hygienist until I took the intro course to speech language hearing sciences with Dr. Kaylin McGratton. She showed us how broad the field is and the many different things you could do with a degree from this department. You can help children with language development and also help people who have difficulties with feeding and swallowing or hearing loss. Dr. McGrath has been my faculty mentor for both the McNair and Multicultural Summer Research Opportunity Programs, which are specifically for first-generation college students. I've also become the undergraduate lead for her lab and was recently elected vice president for the U's chapter of the National Student Speech-Language Hearing Association. I work in Dr. Feinsack's Child Language Intervention Lab doing Spanish translations too. I've been shadowing multiple speech language pathologists who are bilingual in Spanish, and it's been beautiful to see them providing therapy in both languages. I believe that there's a creative fusion between all of the sub-facets of the discipline, and it is my dream to become a bilingual SLP so I can help Spanish-speaking communities. I want to be a practitioner that reflects and resembles my patients. Through my education, I want to improve the lives of underserved communities, like the people at my church. I want to be able to take what I'm learning and bring a compassionate perspective to the cultural blind spots that all too often put people of color at a disadvantage, and offer a path to the health and development these underserved communities deserve. <laughs>